trinkets or special permanent items you can equip for every Dandy's World run, all of them affecting your performance in-game in various different ways. Picking the right trinket is crucial as it can boost the way you play, getting you to much higher floors. With so many unique trinkets and more added with the 3.0 update, we tackle all of them based on differing playstyles. With roles such as supports, kiters, and extractors, we rank trinkets based on those three jobs and how well they assist them. Trinket tier list! Alarm! Increases both walk and run speed by 25% when panic mode activates for 10 seconds. Uh, for those of you who don't know, panic mode is when all machines on the floor are completed and an elevator opens back up. Of course, the first one is the one that I've been having a lot of fun with recently. Have you played with Alarm? I used it like once or twice. I remember so using you, you it with it uh, Shelly. Yeah. Yeah, it's really fun with Shelly. Honestly, the only reason I would ever use Alarm is probably with Shelly. I don't really see a need for it for any other tune. What would you, what would you give this? I would give it a B tier. Like it's really good for those lower speed tunes, getting some extra speed to get to the elevator, especially if they're pretty far away. Putting it on um, Trimpo feels like a necessity sometimes. <laughs> but I could agree with B tier. Let's do B tier. Next up, yeah, we have see. Next Blue one. Bandana. Increases your extraction speed by 7.5%, but decreases skill check size by 5%. See, I haven't used Blue Bandana since like the start of the game, so I honestly forgot what it did. Yeah, it just boosts your extraction speed, but you get less uh, skill checks, basically. And that's kind of the opposite of what you want to do now. You kind of want to get the floor over with, so you want as much skill checks as possible. I'm not sure what I would give it. I would probably give it a C tier. Yeah. I was thinking Just because either I C would probably or D. prefer skill checks. I'm thinking D tier. Hmm. Because it, well, I it was gives a negative C. as well. Oh, a lot of drinks I see, don't I see. really have a negative. Except for right, one that's coming up soon. <laughs> Blushy Bat. This is the one of the new ones from the update. Uh, I think you get this one from joining the Blush Crunch group. Increases the attack cooldown of any twisted that attacks the user by three seconds. Earned by joining the Blush Crunch Studio Roblox group. Yep, there it is. I feel like maybe if um, there's like some sort of emergency where you're a Roger and you're trying to reach the elevator and you're out of stamina, those three seconds could help you. But then again, that's very situational. It requires you to get hit. Yeah, I would say F tier. Yeah, definitely F, or D. F tier. Well, it is the easiest trinket you can get, so we can't complain. Oh yeah, yeah. Dog bone. It's just it's just bone, bone. in game. Increases both yeah. run and walk speed by 25% when picking up an item for 4 seconds. Effect can stack, does not include capsules and tapes. That is a really big speed boost, especially if you're like someone like Sprout who's going around picking up items for uh, consumption so you can get more tapes. It's even more effective if you have a lot of people alive still at later floors mm -hmm. because the item scale right. with players and with how far you're into the round. I remember during uh, the 4-100 run, there's like items everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere you go, there's like a two or three just sitting about. I would probably put it in B. Yeah. It is great, but it's, you know, it's not the best or it's not the worst. Yeah, I thinking? totally B? agree with B. Yeah. Brick. <laughs> Putting this in S tier. All right, next. No, I'm just kidding. Lowers both walk and run speed by 10%. It's a brick. What did you expect? This is this is purely for a challenge. So purely very, a negative. Very, very, very uh, little usage. So I'm I'm guessing this is F tier. Yeah. Into the F. That's right, coin purse. There's two of them. There's fancy purse and then there's coin purse. Coin purse is start with 30 extra tapes. 30? 30 is quite That's small. That's very little. And this is only the start too, so this is not gonna be like a constant thing. It's just a 30 one-time thing and you're done. Yeah. So honestly, I do think you're better off using your trinket slot for another thing. Yeah, there are many um, 
better trinkets. <laughs> I say this I is would F. Definitely put this in. Yeah. Crayons. This is scraps mastery or yep. research trinket? Yeah, research. Okay. Crayon set. Grants a random item from the uncommon tier every floor if user's uh, inventory has a slot open. So this so. item was reworked recently, right? Yeah. It's nice that they give you one every floor. I think it used yeah. to be like once before the update. So that's I nice. Think, uh, uh, definitely is like useful. A, a soda pop. Just like a soda can, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think maybe also uh, a protein bar. It's a very 50 50 trinket for me, honestly. I do feel like you're better off just picking up items off the floor regularly. I don't know where I would place this. Maybe a C? I'm thinking a D. I was tier. thinking D. Maybe below uh, the uh, blue bandana. Yeah, I feel like definitely you have better use of blue bandana. This is a trinket I've never used before. The Dandy Splash grants the user a 50% discount on all Dandy Shop items. That's really good. So that would mean a medkit cost 50. How much does a medkit cost again? 50. It costs okay, 100. So that's cheaper than a band aid. Very interesting. I honestly do see a lot of value in this trinket. I know a lot of people don't really use this. I feel like people use Fancy Purse and Coin Purse much more than Dandy Plush. At least from what I've seen. I feel like it's really useful for tunes that use tapes, such as mm -hmm. Sprout and Tegan, right? Yes. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Honestly, I would put this in a upper B tier, maybe an A. It's, it's I don't it's think an useful. A, I think it's a B. A B? Like nearly okay. C, but I think it goes in comfortably in B. Diary increases stealth by 2.5 units, as in... Half a star? Yeah, half a star. Oh, if you're three okay. star stealth and someone else is also three star, if you have this, the other person has aggro priority. So you could just walk through. I use this one a lot back when um, I used to duo with Goobs because V and Goob both have the same stealth. So of course, with Diary, I have higher stealth than them. So definitely yeah. very useful. <laughs> No longer grabbing aggro. The only thing I don't think this would work on, well, I know it wouldn't work on, is Brightney. Brightney with Diary doesn't matter. She will still have lower stealth. I do see people, uh, Brightney's with Diary, so I just Wait, really? I thought I'd mention that. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Brightney's with Diary. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> it's funny. I would put this in A or B? I'm thinking hmm. C. Like, it's... C. Yeah, it's almost as useful or maybe slightly more useful than Blue Bandana. I would probably put it right above Dandy's Plush. If you've ever been on a run with like an almost full V team with a goob and they all have Diary on, it goes very smoothly. Yeah, you're right. In terms of like those narrow maps too. Yeah, it's quite tough to oh, squeeze yeah. through. Right. Above Dandy's Plush. <gasps> One of my personal favorites. I think this is like almost everyone's personal favorite. Dog plush. Dog plush. This is Toodle's trinket. Increases walk speed by 10%. This is a huge boost. Um, yeah. Especially I like since... it because you don't have to expand stamina as much. Yeah, exactly. You kind of want to have it full almost at all times if you can. Right. But... This is like a trinket that like every single kiter uses. This yeah, is like a staple definitely, definitely. almost. Okay, but it's a percentage. So putting this on like Shrimpo or like V, it won't have as much effect because you're trying to add a percentage of a already low number. It only really, point. really helps high movement speed characters. Right. Anything four and above, four star and above. Well, well honestly, I guess three, three star stars too. Are, yeah. Definitely the more stars, the more value in these percentage speed trinkets. High A? Maybe S? I would say I'm high A. I'm thinking S tier because like on, there's S -tier? very few okay, I can agree with things that. that are two star speed. Fancy purse. Tegan's trinket. Start with a hundred extra tapes. This is just like coin purse, but a little bit more. Yeah, I, I feel the same way about coin this purse. as coin purse. I would put this in the same tier as coin purse, but above yeah, it? Yeah, just above it. Okay, feather duster. 
Feather Duster restores 20 stamina when picking up an item, does not include capsules and tapes. Honestly, that's kind of great, especially if you're running out of stamina and you're running towards like a soda or a protein bar. But you have to have like a decent amount of items near you, so it's like very mm -hmm. in inconsistent. Plus, it's only 20 stamina. 20 stamina, you go through in one second, basically. One full second, you're, <laughs> yeah. you're over. That is a very small amount. I would probably like they, see they more value in it. To, like, At 40. least 30. At 40 yeah. is just like a soda nice. can. 20 is I would put this small. in like a, a D tier. Yeah, I'm down for that. Fishing Another rod. trinket I've never used. Fishing rod. This is Finn's trinket. Yep. Start with three random items from the common to rare tiers. Dante shop exclusive items not included. So this was like crayon set um, before it was reworked. Three random items, common to rare, and then that, that's it. Kind of yeah. like the fancy and coin purse. It's like a one-time thing. Oh, things that are rare are air horn, enigma candy, bandage, jumper cable, and anything that's lower. I mean, that's... That's pretty alright, in my opinion. Like, you could get like a jumper cable. Maybe three in a row, who knows. One time usage trinkets. I would yeah, probably put great. this on like a D or C tier. I'm thinking underneath crayon set. Yeah, I agree. It's like honestly the right. same thing as uh, the coin purses, you know? I think it goes yeah. in F, high F. Right beside it. High uh, F, okay. Yeah. Interesting. The friendship bracelet. I think that is the friendship bracelet, right? That's Goobs. Yep. It is. Gain 5 stamina. For every tune in the round, maxes out at 40 stamina. This is like a risky trinket because it's very dependent on the skill on your, you know, your teammates. Yeah, your teammates. Uh, so. <laughs> so... <And> then... <laughs> oh god. Playing, on, uh, playing with randoms <laughs> in public. Oh, yeah, my gosh. I wouldn't find People much use for this. Floor one. But if you are playing with like a, some close friends, a, a, like a great team, then you will find like a lot of usage on this, especially with uh, kiters or honestly like shellies. A shelly would probably benefit from this yeah. a lot, just Getting because machine, free stamina machine, is not great. Even right. if you accidentally pull aggro, having that extra stamina is good. I would probably put this in like a B tier, maybe. Yeah, I was thinking maybe, or maybe B or A. I would put this above Diary, right yeah, below Dog too. Bone and Alarm. Machine Manual. This is the other extraction trinket. Uh, you get this from Dandy Shop. Increases your extraction speed by 5%. So it's just like Blue Bandana. It is a little bit lower uh, at 5% rather than 7.5. However, there are no drawbacks. So this is like a completely positive trinket, but the number is still very low. Some of these trinkets honestly should be flat values rather than percentage. Now it'd be nice to see some more flat value trinkets. I feel like we don't have very many. The only thing, the only one we have is diary, I think. Yeah. But machine manual, I would probably put it above blue bandana just because skill checks are really nice and we don't want to like get rid of those or lower yeah. the percentage of those. So even though the value is lower, I would still place it higher than Bandana. So into C? D. E. Okay, we just saw uh, D right C. above the Bandana. And A empty still. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one is the magnifying glass trinket. This is Roger's trinket. Add slightly more completion when performing a skill check, but decreases skill check size by 33%. This is a staple, I feel like, for extractors. Skill checks give so much to uh, machine completion, especially, uh, you know, if you, if you have a high skill check. AKA Shelly. Either A tier or S tier. Probably I would say A -tier. S tier. Mm, I okay. would say it's equivalent to like dog plush for kiters because it just adds so much. Nightcap. This is Astro's Trinket. Increases stamina regeneration by 40% when extracting from a machine. Uh, can you imagine being chased and then like looping around to a machine and sitting there for a little bit and then running back and then doing the machine again? That would be really funny to see. Yeah. But 40% is a really big boost. I feel like if you're a Shelly, you could probably do Nightcap and Magnifying Glass because mm -hmm. running from machine to machine takes a lot of stamina. It'd be nice to have that big boost. This is used a lot in speedruns, especially for solo 
speed runs. Like you're just running、right. to machine to machine, and if you don't have enough stamina, you're you're not gonna get there pretty、so、easily. <laughs> also, like maybe running into like a twisted midway to the next machine. Yeah, I would personally put this in A, especially for characters with the with low stamina. Participation, Participation award. award, which is Shelly's research trinket, increases skill check chance by twenty five percent, but decreases skill check size by ten percent. Just like the magnifying glass, a lot more smaller. So if you combine、yeah. the both of these, your、uh, skill check window is going to be very small, especially yeah, if you're playing、tiny. with like Cosmo or something. <laughs> It's going、yeah. to be like a pixel. So、wide, but、um, if you are good at hitting those skill checks, then that would be a an amazing combination. I mean, I use this combination all the time. A lot of people do. We want those skill checks, especially、uh, ever since the golden skill check update. This might be also S, but I'm down for A. I would say high A, right above Nightcap. Let's see. We have Pink Bow next. Classic trinket increases run speed by seven point five percent. Again, another percentage trinket. The more speed you have, the more useful you'll find、uh, a trinket to be for you. It is great.、Um, I do think there's alternatives to this, so it's kind of like it's good, but you could probably find、uh, some more usage in other speed trinkets. Yeah, dog plush being the other one. It's better to have your base movement speed buffed so you could keep your stamina. Pink bow. I feel like not a lot of tunes have good movement speed to utilize this, especially、mm-hmm. since it's a percentage. I think the priority here is stamina conservation. We want to keep as much stamina as possible, so、uh, it's great for beginners, I suppose, since it is one of the earliest ones you can get. I would put this in. Hmm. I'm thinking A or B. It's very solid, but really, it's. Honestly, I was gonna put this in C tier.、Mm-hmm, really? Yeah, because we don't really have that many characters who are like super fast. I mean, I suppose we do, but、mm. you know, they're not running most of the time still. Yeah. So I would probably I would put this、agree. in C. I would agree. Next up, we have Pop Pack. I love Pop Pack.、It's、so good. What's it do? <laughs> Grants the pop item, like the pop can, every、mm-hmm. new floor. I love I've never using used this, this for stuff like Shelly, stuff with low stamina, especially oh, if you love、okay. holding shift or if you like running <laughs> around everywhere. It's kind of so, like the、um, friendship bracelet, only like temporary. Yeah, it'll be more of use for like really, really low stamina characters like Shrimpo,、mm-hmm. Roger, V. What are we thinking? High C. I was thinking A. I love it that much. Hey, I don't know. I feel like once you've,、um, depending on how many players are still alive first and how far you are, like sodas are everywhere, and that's not even something we we start thinking about towards the、uh, later floors. I feel like you can find a soda pretty much anywhere. Also, stamina bars. I was thinking、um, of putting it in C above pink bow. No way! I can't let that happen. Because. At minimum, B. really, because they're it's really good. Like minimum honestly, minimum B. Okay, where do you thinking、uh, we're putting it then? Right below diary. I I would say、uh, above friendship bracelet. Oh, well, you also have to think about、um, dandy plush. You know how much is a soda at the shop? Yeah, but that's also it's like、uh, very little. You get a soda. <laughs> This is a super consistent thing. Mm. Every four, and then also, okay, friendship bracelet is inconsistent if you have players dying early. <laughs> okay, so we want to put it above friendship bracelet. Yeah, I'm down for that. Pool toy, one of the cuter trinkets. Pool toy? Is it just like from the shop? Yeah, it's from the from shop. shop. It used to be. Okay.、Uh, its description used to be. Uh, from dog plush, a、uh, dog, d- dog, from bone cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pool toy increases both walk and run speed by twenty five percent when a new floor arrives for ten seconds. So it's like alarm, but when you first get onto a floor, very fun. I do、but、feel like you'll find more use from、too. alarm. 
because, uh, oh yeah, that too. Especially if you're not playing a kiter. You don't want to run headfirst into an enemy. Yeah, exactly. Just run into a <laughs> so, doorway. Bonk. Already. <laughs> bonk. Yeah. Scraps. This would probably be like a oh, low D uh, tier. Yeah, I think so. Next up, we have Ribbon Spool. Gain 10% more walk and run speed. Even on, on even numbered four. <laughs> Are you okay? You want to reread that? <laughs> Listen, it's based out weirdly. <laughs> Basically, I'm not rereading that. This is from Razendaz's okay. research. It's very similar to what yeah. Razendaz, their passive, already does. See, this is a great boost, an amazing boost. But of course, the drawback is that it's only on even numbered floors. It's definitely a gamble. I mean, if you're willing to take that gamble with Dog Plush and Ribbon Spool, who knows, maybe you'll find a pebble on an even numbered floor. Uh, it'll be a lot easier to kite him. But that's like super, super, really dependent on chance. Yeah. Where do you think? So, I Where do you don't think know. you place it? In C, I'm not sure yeah. above or below Pink Bow. Probably below Pink Bow. Okay, I'm okay with that. This one is Savory Charm? Saves the user from a fatal attack, granting them invincibility for 10 seconds. Can only activate once, does not save the user from lethal attacks. So basically, if you've got one heart, you get hit, it doesn't do anything. You've got like um, a few seconds of invincibility, so... And it's only um, one time use too, so it's... It's quite right. Basically, if you're in a super, super dangerous spot, it'll save you from that one time. So this is like super, super, super situational and like one time use. I, I wouldn't really find much use in this. Basically, unless, uh, uh, the totem uh, from Minecraft. Totem of Undying. <laughs> yeah, totem of Undying. That's a good point. D? Yeah, I'm thinking D tier. Kind of unfortunate because it is a trinket from a main character. Spare bulb increases blackout light radius by 25%. Also increases light radius for light producing tunes. Basically, it'll be like your astro, you know? Okay, you can see I see what you further. mean by that. You know how if you're like okay. Shelly, you really can't see like anything pretty far? Mm -hmm. It's really yeah. dark. Very it's... interesting. I can only imagine what it's like on uh, a Brightney. I feel like this, Very, uh, this item eh. is... Great for people who are scared of the dark. <laughs> yeah, that. And then also, if if you're just patient, you could just wait mm -hmm. to see who's on the floor. It's only really right. good if you're like running out there, out in the open. But you shouldn't really be doing that in a blackout anyways. It's like sort of right. number one rule for blackout. <laughs> So yeah, I feel like this is an F tier. Easy F tier. An F tier. Up next we have Speedometer. Grants the user 15 more stamina, which is quite tiny. Very but small. That is very small. Same with the very Feather little. Duster. Yeah, that's a very small amount. But honestly, I would, I would put this in F tier. Yeah, same. Right above Brick. Speedy Shoes. Increases both walk and run speed by 5%. Um, it is percentage based again, so you would find more use in this with high speed characters, but that's really good. Walk yep. and run speed. <laughs> this is the only other trinket that buffs your walk speed. Like, other than that. Ribbon Spool, you get a buff to walk speed. So, for kiters, this is essential, along with Dog Plush. It just gives you yeah. just enough to outwalk a lot of stuff. With with speedy shoes, the you can outwalk thing, um, uh, a pebble, which is insane. That's how good it is. Really? I mean, th that's how needed it is for kiters. You could outwalk a pebble even as a four-star speed character if you're really good at um, kiting them around an object. Yeah, I feel like we should definitely mention not in a straight line, uh, around an island. I would probably put this in like an S tier, right I below think, magnifying glass. I think an A tier because... A tier, okay, I can see that. Because it isn't as great as like dog plush, it gives just that little extra that you do need as a kiter. And I do like that it also provides run too, so when you do need to uh, 
tap the shift button, you'll get more distance. Probably like high A? I'm thinking like in between participation award night and nightcap. We have the other new trinket, which is um, Cosmos Sweet Charm. Research. This is, yeah, this is Cosmos. I like how they're like connected. Like it's like a, Actually a, friendship, a friendship bracelet. bracelet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's really cute, especially uh, since Cosmo and Sprout are really good friends. Sweet Charm decreases active ability cooldown by 8% has no effect on tunes without an active ability. This is really good for support characters. Stuff like mm -hmm, Astro. Like Shelly and Astro. Shelly, Tisha, and even uh, the healers now too. It is really nice for support characters. I would probably put this in I B think, or uh, C. I think high B, probably high above B? Pop Peck. Because okay. for, for the Astro, that. For teams that are trying to get to high floors, you need double astro for um, for their abilities. But if you have this, maybe maybe you could swap over to just one astro and have another extractor. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Especially um, combining that trinket with like the cooldown cards. Thermos. This used to be so bad. Thermos increases really? stamina regen by fifteen percent. Fifteen percent is just good enough now. 15%. I would put this maybe a high C, right above pink bow. Yeah, I think so. Increases skill check window size by 40 units. Uh, I guess if you're a Cosmo or a Shrimp, that might help out, but uh, uh. I don't know. I feel like that's not very useful, especially if uh, you're good at hitting those skill checks. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, easy F tier, uh, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not much to talk I, about, I it's really just uh, pretty bad. <laughs> Next up, we have Vanity Mirror. See, this one I've been having a lot of fun with. It works very similarly to Alarm. Increases run speed by 30% during panic mode. During the whole panic mm. mode, not even 10 seconds. But of course, I think the only drawback is that it's run speed, so it's yeah. dependent on stamina usage. But I don't know if you remember when I had the alarm and vanity mirror, I was kiting pebbles during the end of the floor, yeah, quite leading easily. away from elevator. As a Shelly. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it can be very useful. <laughs> I still think that's very funny. I like doing like fun runs with like a non-conventional trinkets, I guess you could say. So Vanity Mirror and Alarm are very fun to combine. If you haven't tried it, please do, especially with Shelly. Where would you put this? I want to see what you think. Probably just above um, Alarm, since it lasts the whole entire mm -hmm. uh, panic mode. You could That's just very true. stand still and wait for your stamina for a bit, and then you could just mm -hmm. make a break for it into the elevator. Next up is the Vmote. I feel like people use this one a lot. Instantly completes the first machine you extract from on any floor, but only if the number of machines completed is below 50%. Limit of one activation per floor. Say if like um, eight people had Vmote, only four of them could use it if there's eight machines. Since there's like roles such as like kiters and just general extract supports. extractors, supports, yeah. This is used by just a small fraction of your team, really. I feel like this would be great for like solo runs, maybe. Maybe this and like a nightcap would be great. It is nice to have, it's convenient. It's nice having machines in instantly completed. I was thinking B tier between Dogbone and the Sweet Charm. I think even, even higher, Personally. honestly. I feel like for me, really? I would place it in A. Really? Okay. Um, Right above nightcap? That seems good. Okay. Of course. And then last. Last but not least, wrench. 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 Instantly wrench. adds a large amount of completion to the first machine you extract from on any floor. A limit of one activation per floor. Basically mm. the lesser V mode. What, a jumper cable's worth of completion? So it is nice if you're going to do like a high run, say there's 20 machines. You could just use Vmo instead and that would be like instant completion. So you would get much more value out of that. Wrench is still very useful, but 
not as useful as we move. So I would probably honestly put it in C tier. Yeah, low C tier. Um... I would put this maybe above Ribbon Spool. All right, and there we have Oof. it. Look at that. Do you see that? F tier is <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, it's quite filled up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I I do think there's some things that need to be reworked. I'm sure in the future updates, uh, a lot of these values are going to change. Hopefully for the better. So we'll see by then. Congrats we on. We got two S tiers. <laughs> Yeah, dog congrats plush. on dog plush and magnifying Magnifies. for the S tier. One for the kiter, one for the extractor. 